Hi everyone, today I am going to present you with a few different stories that discuss how AMC is getting ready for another squeeze. Following that, I would like to discuss some recent statistics, such as the dark pool data on the stock grid and the short interest data on all text. Keep watching, because I guarantee that you won't want to miss out on this video, and together we can make some money. But before I begin, I would like to express my gratitude to each and every one of you who has already rung that notification bell. I am quite appreciative of your efforts. Considering that you are always the first to watch a new video as soon as it is posted, I would ask that you kindly make sure to subscribe to the channel, press the bell, and leave a like below in order to ensure that you do not miss any other videos similar to this one. Permit me to begin with the most essential information, which is as follows is the stock of AMC Entertainment gaining momentum in preparation for another break. There are many different types of traders and investors who are interested in AMC Entertainment stock. This includes individuals who do not buy or sell the stock. For the past few weeks, a story has been forming concerning AMC and other stocks, such as GameStop Corporation, that demonstrates how the typical retail trader fits into the stock market, what competitors they face, and possibly even how to be successful. Companies and organizations have been shelling out millions of dollars every single day for AMC call options. In July, an exchange-traded fund that is managed by artificial intelligence added AMC to its holdings. This addition took place on Monday. Shares of American Express Company have been purchased by a number of different institutions. The largest interests are held by Vanguard Group and BlackRock, who have 37 million and 27 million shares, respectively. Despite the fact that the common trader does not have access to all of a company's details, such as whether or not naked shorting is taking place on a security, it is now becoming increasingly important to comprehend the short interest of a stock in order to successfully navigate the markets. In a moment, I will talk about the data on the short interest. Furthermore, a significant number of retail investors are of the opinion that there are sufficient naked short bets on AMC to drive the stock higher, maybe to more than $100, in the event that the shorts were put under pressure to cover their positions. To add insult to injury, American Airlines is maintaining its firm position above the $40 barrier, providing bulls with the certainty that the stock is consolidating in preparation for another move. Specifically with regard to negative volume, which we will discuss on the stock grid, the quantity of upward volume in the AMC stock has been declining. This is very pertinent to bearish volume. A significant number of times, this pattern is seen in the stock market just before it experiences a significant upward swing. Those that are bullish want to see the bearish volume continue to decrease, and they want bullish volume to enter the stock and push it up to a level that is almost above its upper resistance level. For further details, please refer to the subsequent article. There is a connection between primates and artificial intelligence. The exchange-traded fund ETF that is powered by artificial intelligence belonging to Tesla has sold off the majority of its interests in Facebook and Walmart in order to accumulate shares of AMC Entertainment instead. It has been demonstrated that the fund is capable of accurately predicting swings in the price of Tesla's stock. Therefore, the fund constructs actively managed portfolios by employing artificial intelligence AI to conduct an automatic search for trends that have the potential to result in excess returns. It is plain that this fund, which is run by artificial intelligence, has been analyzing the chart, options, sentiment, and extra data, including short interest, and it is clear that it feels the stock will continue to grow. It is my belief that this is wonderful news since, in addition to the AI-driven ETF being on our side, some Bazonga reporters appear to be supporting it as well. This will assist develop good sentiment toward the stock, which is exactly what we require from this situation. A further point to consider is that I believe this is having a favorable impact. As of today, AMZ Cinemas, which is the largest theater operator in the United States, Europe, the Middle East, and the entire world, has made the announcement that it has smashed its prior post-reopening weekend attendance records for the second time in three weekends and for the third time since Memorial Day weekend. During the period beginning on Thursday, July 8th, and ending on Sunday, July 11th, Approximately 3.2 million people view films in AMC's theaters in the United States and other countries. It is my opinion that they should call it Sunday, July 11th. During the past 16 months, AMC has posted the highest weekend attendance levels it has ever seen. Over the past few weeks, I have received a multitude of comments on my videos stating that they have visited an AMC theater in the past few weeks and that it is completely crowded. Furthermore, they have met a great number of people who share their interest there and discuss the AMC stock there. That way, we are going to have more new baby apes getting on board with the AMC movement, which is going to help push the AMC stock to new highs with additional bullish buying. Not only is it great to meet other apes who share your values, 
but it is also possible that another moviegoer who is not familiar with the AMC movement could hear your conversation and decide to become an ape as a result of what they learn. Therefore, let's take a look at the short interest data on Ortex. We can see that the estimated short interest on Thursday was approximately 97 million shares, or 19, and that number decreased on Friday to 96.8 million shares, or approximately 18.93. On the other hand, we can see that the average number of days on loan actually increased from 37 days to 37.75 days, which indicates that they are either closing some of their more recent positions or simply holding their older positions, which are currently generating a significant amount of loss. In terms of the total volume, it is true that there was a discernible decline, as the number of shares traded on Friday was roughly 57 million, whereas on Thursday there were approximately 145 million shares traded. To put that into perspective, this is around the same volume that we witnessed earlier in the week, and it is also nearly the same level that we are witnessing today, on Monday, with approximately 45 million shares being traded. Because they have returned 2.53 million shares and only borrowed 1.33 million, the short interest has decreased by 1.2 million shares, bringing it down below 19 of the current short interest. The estimated total short interest is 95.65 million shares, which is clearly lower than that of 96.825 million shares. If we look at the movements in short interest today, we can see that the borrowing has decreased by 1.2 million shares. We can see that the overall net short position has been decreasing over the past several weeks, and it has reached approximately $14.35 billion. This is something that we can see by looking at the dark pool data on StockGrid. All things considered. This is mostly attributable to the fact that the price of the AC stock has also declined over the course of the past few weeks. Having said that, when we take a look at the fresh daily short interest, we can see that short sellers have not been adding to their position as dramatically during the past few weeks in comparison to the first few days of June. Personally, I am of the opinion that the shorts are almost out of steam and are running out of ammunition, which means that it won't be too much longer until we are able to defeat them and drive the price of the AC stock upward once more. If the hedges had wanted to reduce the price of AC stock to 10 and cover all of their short positions with a minimal amount of loss, I believe that they would have done it by now, thus it is evident that they have failed to do so. In the process of analyzing the AMC option chain, we have discovered that there is a substantial amount of open interest on the 145, 100, and 110 calls. The support level for the AMCC stock price is currently located around 37, and we are still holding it. At this point, we are rappelling upwards and coming down to this point, almost touching it. I feel that we are going to keep heading back towards the top of this wedge throughout the course of this this week. When we reach the top of that wedge, we will have a choice period in which we will either break through that wedge and carry on to 60 and 70, or we will return to the area within the wedge. Despite the fact that there is not a great deal of open interest on the 40 and 50 calls at the moment, I believe that this will change as the week progresses. You should check out the Patreon and the secret Discord that are linked in the description below if you are interested in joining the team and discussing the most recent AMCD and news items with other apes who share your interests. If you haven't done so already, I strongly encourage that you do so. In addition, if you are interested in obtaining shares in AMC but have not yet registered with a trading platform, you can access Weeble for residents of the United States or Free Trade for residents of the United Kingdom by clicking on the links provided in the description below. Both of these platforms allow you to receive free stocks with deposits that are rather small. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you would also check out some of my other videos. You also have the option of subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell in order to receive updates anytime I upload a new video.